I remember when I was a kid and you get these like cold, like dark November, December nights, like drizzling, like thin rain, like fucking freezing cold. And like, um, you know, when you've got nowhere to go and you're like 14 years old or something like that, we used to have this uh, bush shelter where we'd all go uh, um, and hang out, the Gully Flats boys, and we'd smoke cigarettes and stuff like that. And sometimes on those freezing cold nights, you'd go around and there'd be nobody there. So you'd come out the house, you'd have your dinner and stuff. Then you'd go around to the bush shelter and it'd be fucking pitch black and the, that rain was coming down. You were freezing. You had like a, a green duffel coat. I used to have these duffel coats <clears throat> and smoke cigarettes and there'd be nobody there. And there was a weird kind of loneliness to that. It was weird. Too Insignificant to Mention is uh, one of them songs that definitely drags me right into my childhood um, and growing up in, in West Cumbria um, and and feeling those real, really dark, empty, cold winter's nights where there was, you just didn't know um, what, what, the, what future lied ahead of you. When the crab fair nights are over And the gypsies roll away And the broken lamppost of agreement Says to a young boy Move on And flow Into the arms of the life where you should go Very, very emotionally felt in, in the way that it's uh, put across. And the Midas lad's speech is sober And you're covered in cheap body odor Too insignificant to mention When you go, when you're one of those fathers who drop the kids off, you have the you have the kids every two weeks, and you go and get them, and it's your weekend, and you go back on Sunday afternoon, and you drop them off, and you get the fucking door slammed in your face. Then, you know, the family that you've you know used to hang out with, they fucking hate you, they can't stand you, they don't want to know you. You're a fucking asshole. You're the this. You're a dick. You're a all these things you get projected on, you're always by yourself, you go there and you've got to try and make it all right with the kids and all that you're doing. Like that difficult situation, that sense of insignificance, it was the same, I think, as back, there's a loneliness about it that was the same when I was a kid. I remember it, you know, I, I used to, you know, feel, it was the same thing. Frankie dropped his kids at the front door And showed up with a friendly face when you're too insignificant to mention They make you bow your head in disgrace The guys who have that, you know, have the kids every two weeks will know what I'm talking about. The rest of you probably won't. But there's a fucking whole thing with that. Uh, nobody talks about it. Nobody's actually brought it up ever. But that, you know, Wednesday afternoon, that every other weekend, and you, you pick up the kids and you say, hey, how's it going? You're trying to make everything all right. And boom, fucking door goes right in your face. And so that song's about that, you know. And you have a choice at that point. You can either fall into some fucking hole, you know, which I've done before in the past where you start to feel sorry for yourself, but that won't do any good anyway. You need to pick your fucking fat ass up and man up. And so... That's the way to go. You create your own life. You make your own, you know, you make your own good, good, you know, good things. You don't, you know, don't uh, bow down to that fucking nonsense. <laughs> 